Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AEM and DevOps tutorial. In this video, we will see how you can create your first job in Jenkins. So let's get started. Let me go to the AWS. In AWS, I have Ubuntu installed. It is in running state. So just go here and copy the IP address. And to open the Jenkins, just put your URL and to put colon 8080 port number to open your Jenkins. It is asking me for username and password. I have admin admin as a username and password. After logging, you will see the dashboard of Jenkins. So we'll see how we can create your first job. You can create your first job either from here or from here. So I will use this new item option. Click on it. Now it will ask you to enter the name of project. So let me give it a name. For example, hello job. This will be my first job. And let me select the freestyle project. Here you can see several types of jobs. For now, choose the freestyle project, which is the most common one. Now click on OK. And in the URL, it will show up the job name. So it is hello hyphen job. Project name will be reflected in the URL. So avoid using any space and instead just use underscore or hyphen. I have used hyphen here. You can give friendly name in advanced tab. For example, go to advanced. If you want to give some friendly name, then you can give it over here. Here you can use the space also. So let me put uh, hello job here with space. You'll be able to see this name in the Jenkins, but in the URL, it will be hello hyphen job. And also you can see this option, this project is parameterized. So if you will check it, then you will be able to add a parameter over here. We can pass the parameter to Jenkins job from this option. Let me uncheck it as for now. And either you can scroll down or you can change the type to source code management. Here we can configure the version control repository. So for now we have to get and subversion. If you want to add some different control version, then in that case, what you can do, you can install the plugin and that version controller will be available. So here, let me choose the Git. I already have a Git repository for you. So this is the sample project in my Jenkins that we will run using our first job. So let's copy it. To copy this project, just click on it and copy this URL and paste here so as this is my public repository i don't need to use username and password keep it empty in the branch specify you need to specify the branch for now i'm using master branch so keep it master so next is the build trigger you can also change the tab from here build trigger is a condition to start a build automatically so you can see we have a different option we have a build periodically option so here you can provide the cron expression to start the build periodically to see the context expression, you can click on this help button and you can see the options which are available. For example, you can use this. This means this job will execute every 15 minutes. This way you can put the cron expression and you can run your job based on the requirement. And other option is a GitHub. You can use this option also. And whenever there will be any commit in the GitHub, so in that case, the job will be triggered. For now, I'm not going to set any build trigger. We will trigger the job manually. Another option we have is build environment. It allows to set up the environment before the build starts. Example, you can delete the workspace where temporary files are stored before build is executed. So for now, let's skip this step. Now jump over to the build step. Here you can see we have a different option and we can execute Windows patch command. We can execute shell script. We can also execute Gradle script or Maven script, etc. So this step is a core of Jenkins configuration. It allows to execute the build step. For example, running a Maven script, Gradle script or batch file or shell script. I already have a script here. So let's go to the section. And here you can see we have a code. In the code, we have bat file and we have a .sh file. .bat is used for Windows. .sh is a shell script which is used in Linux. So what we will do, we will copy the path, section 2 and code. Just go over here and click on execute shell script. Here I need to provide the path and also if you will see these scripts, it just displays hello, hello world. So we will use the path because the same directory structure will be available inside workspace where we pull code from GitHub. Just put the CD over here and click on enter and to execute the shell script, let's use dot forward slash and the name. Name of file is hello world dot it's I'm not using bat, I'm using dot sh. So hello world dot sh. 
if you want to execute the bad file then you can do you can click over here and you can do the bash command you can write the cd you can put the section section 2 backslash code and here you need to put the hello world dot bad so this way you can execute the windows patch file also but in my project now but for now i'm using this execute shell script so let me read this so this is done and this is the post build action that means whatever action you want to take after the build is successful or failure so these are the actions which are executed after the build is executed for example publishing a JUnit test result report or it can be an email notification of successful or failure of the build or it can be a deleting workspace when the build is done okay so let's leave it for now and click on save so my job is ready you can see we are we are here inside the job so if you want to go to Jenkins in the dashboard you will see our job you can see we have this name hello job and to run it what you can do you can click over here or you can go inside the job and you can click on build now so this way you can build a job here the job has been executed you can see it in the build history and if you click on here and here go to the console output so here you will be able to see the output whatever the steps has been taken by the job you can see over here so here you can see it has been executed and hello world is displayed and it is success let me go back to the Jenkins dashboard so this is how you can create your first job in the Jenkins now uh, next what I will do I will put this link of my github project in the description below so that you can copy and you can execute your first job in the Jenkins and now suppose if you want to change something in this job then in that case you can click on hello job and you can click on configure from here and again it will take you to the configuration of this here you can change the things which you want to let me go back to the dashboard again and if you want to read this job then click on the job and you can click on delete project to read the job so that's it from this video guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and keep watching am and devs tutorial thanks again for watching